So uh, this law of medical law and ethics is the law that uh, is concerned with the uh, regulation of uh, medical field, that field of medi medicine, and it ensures that uh, people are being given uh, attainable standards of, the, of medication by the government because the sole responsibility of the government to ensure that its citizens are uh, well uh, given uh, the right medication to cater for their needs. So the government is uh, there for the citizen and to ensure that the citizen state is of well-being. So uh, the government can provide certain provisions to ensure that citizens uh, live in a well, uh, comfortable environment and in the field of criminal criminal law, uh, pro contract law, and they are taught uh, just a ways in which uh, government ensures that citizens' welfare is cut and for. For example, in criminal law, the law uh, is against harmful acts against uh, someone and taught a uh, tort visa will be liable and a uh, tort. And uh, uh, contract law goods are supposed to be fit for purpose to be for consumption. So this medical law is divided under aspects and it has uh, five things and it also has. Uh, importance of signing this law because it introduces lawyers to the field of medicine to see the challenges that uh, professionals in that field occur, uh, face in their dealings in that uh, field, the relationship between the doctor and the patient. So it regulates that relationship and to prevent uh, professional negligence or clinical negligence that results as a result of a doctor being negligent uh, by breaching his duty of care that results uh, to damage where he has that uh, duty of care which he breaches that results into damages. So uh, that is 